Hi everyone, Dorota Palicka International Nail Artist and Educator and I have prepared some unusual Christmas nails and black this time. Have we preview it in here? They look actually fab, black and white, always awesome. You cannot really go wrong with that. And I hope you really enjoy learning the super quick and easy designs. Let's start. We are going to play with some black Christmas nails for a change. So I've got my tips ready and we are going to use 183, which is a black ink. I actually love this black, guys. Like, it's so highly pigmented. When you're working with black, make sure you do apply it nice and thin layer. You don't want too thick product because that will cause it a wrinkled. So, like, I'm making sure, like, I've got it at really nice and thin and then we have to cure it blacks reds and whites i like to give them a 60 seconds cure this one we are going to paint full black as well they're actually quite quick and easy um, salon friendly designs as well like a mixture i have noticed it guys that you do really like those uh, mix it designs like when we creating a few different ones in a one video and then for this one we are going to go slightly different so we need to mix it uh, our black like mix it it with some top coat and usually when i'm mixing um, the top coats i do prefer using the one which has inhibition layer so it has those sticky layer in there as well i wouldn't do it with the high shine i would rather do it with the soak of top coat and then grab some brush which is half decent like I mean which is quite a big one <laughs> just so it's easier just going to clean it and then mix it and um, quite often if I would have end of the bottle I would uh, add the drop end of the bottle of the soak of top gel uh, this one so if I would be uh, like having a just a little bit left I would add the drop of black or drop of red um, to create my see-through color it's an awesome tip guys like you know I'm not liking too many products in my desk um, or like spending too much money on those extra bits and pieces which we don't need so this way I have created um, and then if you've got it in the gel polish you don't need an extra brush like I'm using it now you would just use the brush which you've got in the top coat okay so I'm just painting it uh, in those black see-through color you could do it one layer you could do it two layers I'm, I'm just going to uh, leave it at the one layer and then give it a cure okay so when my tips are cooking I'm just going to clean my brush <laughs> oh my goodness lucky <laughs> He punched the camera. Oh gosh. He, he's just going to come back. He's like, each time when we record, he just has to be here. Um, so when my tips are cooking, I'm going to grab some white French gel. And this is awesome for uh, those kind of designs, guys. Uh, like, I love it. And it's a really must have. Like, it's a really nice and strong gel. So let's place it in there on the side. And let's start maybe with those, those pretty one. So we are going to grab some black on its own. And now I'm going to use this black. Why? Because this one is too thin. Like, I do prefer it. I didn't clean the dust properly. Sorry, guys, for that. Um, 
I do prefer, oh gosh, I can't talk and do, I do prefer this black because it's more pigment, like, no, maybe not more pigmented, it's not more pigmented, this one is really highly pigmented, I would say even it's more pigmented than this one I'm using, but the reason for me using this one is, I, it doesn't move, it's a paint, for, it's a paint gel, gosh, cameraman, you give me so hard questions, it's a paint, <laughs> It's a paint on gel and they don't move. So if you place them in the right direction, they will just stay there compared to the gel polishes, which can move a little bit, especially when it's so warm. Like, and here we've got so many lights and, and everything that it is really warm. So I'm just outlining this, um, this tip. Okay, outline it. And then just so I don't damage it, because you know, guys, how it is, like you paint something nice and then you touch it by the mistake. I'm just going to cure it. And then grab this tip because it's ready. We are going to top coat it. So high shine, no wipe top gel this time. And just apply the full top coat over it. Like they really quick and easy designs. You need to coat it well and then cook it. This one is ready as well, so I can move on into the next part. Again, grab a scoop of this gel, then clean my brush because now I need to work it uh, with the tip of the brush only. I don't want too much product on my brush. And the easiest way for me to do it is, so I'm just going to pick up those ugly places is paint some triangle then this is my needle so I'm just dragging one line on the bottom one line here and then two arms so again just drag it I find that this is the easiest way for me to paint the stars because then you just fit them up a little bit and you've got a star It's funny because when I was doing, uh, when I was painting some star, I don't know, maybe a two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I did kind of forget how I was painting them and I was really struggling. And then obviously because we are getting closer and closer to, to this Christmas season, um, I'm just kind of know how to paint them now <laughs> okay. okay, this one, let's put it at the angle. So again, the sweet triangle, then line in here, line in there. And then two lines here. If you paint them really small, um, those lines might be just enough. Even you don't have to maybe even uh, thicken them up, which is so cool. So depending on the size, I will play with those larger ones first. Now let's make it prettier. That's better. And then I'm going to place one in here. So now I'm going to do it the small ones. See the small ones are much quicker because we don't have to thicken them up as much. And of course, you cannot have too much product on your brush. One other one in here. I would do it on maybe like one or two uh, fingers, two needles, because painting the stars can be quite con time consuming as well, especially such a big amount of them. Okay, I've got an even number, do I? One, two, three, 
five I do so that's plenty um, again for the designs I do prefer doing an uneven numbers guys okay and now let's fill up the other space with some dots so we are just going to place lots of dots in there and uh, those type of sheer black designs looks absolutely awesome uh, for valentine's days as well where we're doing some sort of lace uh, really nice and pretty that looks cool so not over the, uh, let's do one more not over the top uh, design let's cook it and then this one is ready as well so we are going to paint with white now for a change and i never thought i'm going to like this design so much uh, like in black it looks absolutely fantastic and i think it's worth to show you guys how pretty it is in black i don't want to make them too straight uh, I'm, I'm making them really curved so I would suggest you make those thicker ones first. So that's my thicker ones. I just have to go through them again. You could use thicker brush like a watercolor. But I would still use the deliner to perfect the shape because I think it's more precise brush thicken up doing it with the scarf is much harder than the straight lines uh, but i think it's much prettier as well okay then pick up a small scoop of the product like even smaller actually so i'm going to clean my brush just a dry wipe to remove the excess of the product so the brush is more flexible and then just pick up a small scoop of the product and paint a very thin line just below i do prefer those candy look with those thin lines. Sorry, I can't talk too much when when I'm painting lines. <laughs> okay, another one. Nice and thin. And that's plenty. I quite like it just the way it is. So we are going to grab some sugar glitter and sprinkle it. It looks awesome in black. Like, I think, <clears throat> sorry guys, I think it started maybe two years ago. Like, Christmas nails don't need to be red. Like, we can do it with any color, absolutely any color. Um, so that's absolutely amazing like lots of possibilities when we can play with all sorts of different colors now we are going to top coat this design so just grab the top coat and put it on the entire nail perfect let's cook it so this one is curing as well and i can grab another black we are going to put the top cup again over it. And then I've got another black again, top coat over it. Oh, actually I could just stick some snowflake. No, I will show you in different video how I'm using some large glitter snowflakes. Oh, I think that would be super cool. So 
we've got the snowflakes and I think it will look super pretty over black, like absolutely amazing, but uh, I will show you in different video. Let's cure it. Okay, and grab what we've got ready. So the first one is definitely ready. Where are you? You are right on the end. There we are. So let's remove those excess. And you can see it how pretty it is. So simple, but it looks amazing in black. Absolutely amazing in black. I mean, of course, we have to do some snowflakes. <laughs> like, make sure you do really remove the excess of those loose glitter. Um, because on black is going to be really visible. So I will be cleaning the tip uh, just before taking the pictures of it. Okay, and then this one is cooked as well. So let's paint some snowflakes. And the snowflakes will look so pretty over black as well because they do stand out more. Like they do really stand out more. I'm going to be very slow with the snowflake. So it's nice and pretty. Clean my brush. Okay, then in between that. And then pick up a small scoop of the product. And we are going to paint, like press it harder and then lighter. Press it harder and lighter. And do the same. Hard press, light press. It almost looks like a uh, flower petals. I can see my tip uh, dropping down. Honestly, guys, snowflakes is so much fun to paint, like because you can do so many different designs. I think already I have shown you quite a few this year. Okay, and we've got nice and pretty snowflake. Then add a couple dots and some of the dots we are going to turn into a snowflake as well. I've got something stuck in there. Air bubble.
So I'm just dragging those product I've got in there. Yay, that's so pretty. Grab the sugar. And then sprinkle it. So we've got one step to complete. And this is going to be the quickest and the easiest design ever. And I use it quite a lot. Like if I've got some... Um, some set of the nails and I'm just missing something uh, I would do the icicles because you cannot go wrong with them you just cannot go wrong So basically I'm just going from the thickest to the thinnest and um, all different places. And what else you could do it, you could do like a one which is almost dropping there and flying in the air. Grab some sugar, sprinkle it and that's this unfinished as well let's cook it and then see the entire set of the meals which we have created today so let's place this one here the snowflake as ready as well remove the excess of it so pretty i love the snowflakes <laughs> they look Really pretty in black absolutely amazing why not then we have to do a couple seconds longer cure so I'm just going to clean all my bits and pieces and then I can show you the final look remove the excess and we've got another tip this is so easy one You want to just like make sure you do clean it properly um, so the dust like glitter dust particles don't spoil your black i'm sending you glittery hugs and bye for now